The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force now says women ages 50 to 74 should get their mammograms every two years. But for the millions of women waiting to get the final word on exactly when and how often they should get their mammograms, this influential federal panel is just one more voice in the confusing chorus. Here with the story is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Welcome, Sumathi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So these new recommendations aren't drastically different from what the panel had, had uh, re recommended in 2009, correct? No, they're actually very similar. And actually, they left the question of should women in their 40s get mammograms a little more open-ended saying this is a personal decision talk to your doctor if you feel starting at, at what age is it a personal decision in the, all throughout your 40s throughout your 40s and okay. over 74 yeah. right so in those age groups they're not saying you should or shouldn't they're saying right. it's up to you talk to your doctor assess your history and and make your own decision now of course then there are other very influential medical organizations including the american college of obstetricians and gynecologists mm -hmm. who recommend women starting at age 40 get a mammogram every year, correct? Yes, yeah, so ACOG as well as a lot of other groups still recommend start at 40 every year. So what are women to do with th this confusing information? Is there going to be an attempt by the medical community to reach a consensus on this? So there is, and we should also probably mention the third player, which is the oh. American Cancer Society. And they very recently changed their recommendations to recommending starting mammograms at 45 instead of 40 and doing it every year until age 55, in which case then you can go every other year. Oh my goodness, my head yes. is spinning. <laughs> so how will this ever be resolved? So ACOG, which is the OBGYN group, they are convening a consensus conference at the end of the month in Washington, D.C., and they've invited 30, more than 30 groups to sort of try to see if they can come up with one recommendation to make things a little... To hash through all of this. Now, what exactly is going to be under consideration at this meeting? Um, so the details are pretty scant right now, mm -hmm. but I think that the goal is just, okay, can we come up with an agreement? Right. Most people I've talked to said that's probably going to be pretty hard. These groups, you know, a lot of them have recently reviewed the evidence and kind of come up with their own recommendations. Right. So probably that's going to be a tall order. Now, should women worry about the fact that these new federal guidelines say every two years, should they worry that their insurance might not cover a yearly mammogram? No. So that was a big, big concern here, but there's been, there was an amendment in Congress making sure that women in their 40s, if they want to get a mam mammogram, they, they're still covered by insurance. Well, we can certainly hope that a consensus will emerge from this conference <laughs> at the end of the month. But in the absence of that, what should women do? Talk to their doctor to work out a personal plan for mammograms? Yeah, so the primary care physicians that I've talked to and the OBGYN say that, you know, guidelines are guidelines. Mm -hmm. they, like, they're not set in stone. So at the end of the day, it's important to have a, a conversation with your patient, assess how, what they're comfortable with, their family history, other risk factors, and then decide from there which way to go. I think that's great. I personally go every year. <laughs> I will not be deterred. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sumathi Reddy, for, for that. Me.